Welcome back to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we're going to check out my new custom 4x12 from Soundflower. Alright, so a few months back I had done a speaker shootout with a Vintage 30 and a DV77. I had used two orange PPC 112 cabinets, which I do like them. And I had a lot of fun making that video. I really want to do more speaker shootouts, but I'm going to be honest, tearing those cabs apart now that it's hard, it's just time consuming and I lost interest in doing it after taking those apart and then trying to borrow speakers out of my 412s. So I just kind of dropped the speaker shootout idea, even though I've got a couple sitting on hand that I picked up. So rather than just not do that idea and move away from it, I figured I'd have a custom cabinet made so there's less screws and cabinets to take apart and put back together. So this was built by Bob with Soundflower here out of Salt Lake City, Utah. I asked for an oversized cabinet. The dimensions height-wise are almost the exact same as my Mesa oversized cabinet. The width is, I think it was about half an inch wider. But what's cool about this cabinet, I know it just looks like a standard 4x12, but I had him individually give me new speaker inputs. Rather than having four speakers wired all together, I went for a 412 that's basically four 1x12s and a 412 configuration. So he's built me, um, instead of a full back panel, he gave me halves with a speaker input on each side. As you can see, I've put red tape on each input. So on a normal cabinet, you've got you know one input. I've got four because I'm just running each speaker individually. Now, the only thing to really be careful for in this kind of a situation is say right here, the GB, that's a, a Celestian Greenback. That's a 25 watt speaker. So obviously I need to be careful and pay attention to my um, power ratings before I'm running, you know, a big 100 watt amplifier and turn it up to half and just blowing that speaker out. I've got a DV77 right here. That's a 70 watt speaker from Eminence. And then on the bottom, I've just got two Celestia Vintage 30s at the moment. But this allows me a lot more freedom to swap speakers quickly. I can run you know, the cabinet into two speakers at a time to check different blends to see what I like a lot faster. And with the magical powers of the KHE amp switcher, I've got four cabinet inputs so I can swap on the fly. So between the switcher and my uh, air step, I can just test speakers out, you know, immediately without having to have four different orange one by 12s, which is what I was gonna do. I was gonna buy two more and just keep four of those on hand and swap speakers all the time. No, it's, it takes a lot of space. It is just, I don't know, it just wasn't gonna work out the way I wanted to without feeling like I was wasting a bunch of time. So this is a pretty cool cab. Um, there's really not a whole lot to say about it other than, you know, it's made of three quarter inch birch. So that's awesome. Much like most of your other cabinets that are out there. Now, like I mentioned, Bob has, uh, he runs his own little company. It's called Soundflower. He really fell in love with the process of building and refurbishing cabinets and amps. So he's got this really cool looking X cab that he built. If I remember right, I think he's got five 12 inch speakers in there. It might only, it might be four, I can't remember for sure. Um, but as you can see, unlike me, you don't have to just do black. I mean, everybody knows orange amplifiers or some, some people know those green ones. You can get any color Tolex you want. I mean, use your imagination. That's what Bob really wants to do is do something a little more colorful. Um, here's a couple examples of different cabs, 1x12s, 2x12s, 4x12s, his X, and then different heads he's rewrapped for people. He's, you know, just trying to do his own thing. And I think it's really awesome to see someone, you know, out there building their own cabinets and kind of refurbing stuff. I think that's cool. So I will have links down below for his Instagram and I'll put like his email and, you know, whatever, his contact information in there if you want to hit him up. He does a lot of different kind of stuff. He's got some cabs that instead of just having one or two pieces, it's got three. 
so you can remove different pieces to really get different sounds and test out cabinets to see how you like them. I like that idea. It's pretty cool. Um, if anyone else has done that before, I've never seen it. So, I mean, if I want, I can pull one of these halves off and run the top or bottom half to see if I like an open back sound. Now, I'm probably never going to actually do that because I like the closed back sound, but I'm going to quit blabbering now and just kind of do a quick little test with you guys and all that. So let me set up a couple microphones. I'll be right back. All right, now I did forget to mention that these are 16 ohm speakers that I have in this cabinet currently. So I only have an interface that can do two inputs at the moment. I'll do, I'll get when the one comes in stock that I want that I can do four. I'll get a couple more mics and be able to do four speaker shootouts too. But for now we're just doing two. So we've got the DV77 up top here and then we've got the Vintage 30. I'll put arrows and some kind of indicator on the screen so you know what you're listening to. I just kind of want to show you guys real quick, you know, the most fun way to test out speakers now. So this is a Solar A1.6 Vinter with the Evertune and the Fishman Fluence Modern Pickups and it is tuned to drop C. So the DV77. <laughs> Vintage 30. So I'm not trying to do a whole speaker shootout with you guys today. I just wanted to, you know, show you guys this. So let's do a quick clean riff. Back to some heavy. You get the point. I think it's really cool. You know, it's just a black box, but I think testing speakers are fun. I'm saying go 
build a custom cab or have your backside of your cab torn apart? No, but I mean, it's an idea. What you can do if you're interested in speakers and you know, money's tight, inflation, all that going on the last couple of years, IRs, play with IRs and try different speakers. I'm weird, I'm kind of stuck in the analog days. I don't really fit my own age group very well, but I like to try physical stuff and I don't know why that is, but it's probably part of my collecting OCD just joins the rest of this stuff. So this is just a fun way to test out speakers. I know I'm talking in circles here. I'm just a little bit excited. Thank you for joining me. Be on the lookout for speaker shootouts. You'll see this cab in more than just speaker shootouts too, as I can now just pick a speaker and do videos with that now. So anyway, thanks again. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and check me nerding out on some speakers and cabinet stuff. So thanks again. Take care and I'll see you next time.